Good morning, everybody. It is a wonderful, wacky Wednesday here in the upstate of South Carolina. And I just wanted to share with you why I missed Fabulous Friday and Marvelous Monday. Uh, of all things, why would I leave you guys hanging? I, I just happened to be on the road. So um, Friday was a busy day in Denver. And we spoke. I spoke Thursday night and Friday on the way that the Titron scanners work and that's taking temperature readings on both sides of the spine there's a very short neurology path there that shows if there's any imbalance in the autonomic nervous system what's the autonomic nervous system well the easiest way to remember is the autonomics are the automatics they're uh, the ones that you don't have direct control over so there's nothing that you can do to directly affect them sometimes you can breathe fast hyperventilate and cause some problems uh, you can do some other things that indirectly affect them, but typically they're automatic. You can't do anything about them. It's just how your body's functioning. So the scanners that we use here in the office, the Titronics, uh, Titron scanners. Uh, I also am the sales and marketing director for them. If you haven't got that by now, uh, shame on you. We use them on every visit pre and post, um, but I'm also sales and marketing director. So I was there uh, sharing the basic information that most of the doctors already knew at the upper cervical summit or the council on upper cervical care put on by the ICA in Denver had a great time with friends had a great time with uh, new friends had a great time with old friends met somebody I hadn't seen for 27 years uh, yeah 25 27 years it's been a long time um, met people that I see on a regular basis and it was just a really good time to to, to deal with them and to help them with the uh, titronic needs. But like I said, Thursday night I got to address the leadership group. Friday I got to talk for 15 minutes on the basics of why we do thermography and what that has to do with it. But it was just a wonderful trip. It was good to go and spend time with them. It's much better to be home and spending time with you. But when Friday was just a full day of doing business and Saturday was a full day of doing business. Sunday was a full day of travel. Monday was just, oh, it was just tired, just tired. You guys know I've been losing weight, uh, even as uh, down as much as I am since uh, November. It's still hard to fit in a Southwest Airlines seat. I have figured out which rows are the best, though. Rows 18, 19, 20, and 21. Those have got the biggest leg room. Um, and they seem to be just a little bit wider than the ones in the very, very, very back. I usually like to sit in the last row, but uh, not anymore. They're just not wide enough and there's just not enough knee room. Um, but looking at the plane this time, setting it a little bit better. Rows 18 through 21 seem to be the, the sweet spot for me. They are just a little bit behind the engine, um, but that uh, gives me the most elbow room and the most leg room, and that seems to be the best place for me. I know. Stuff you needed to know for today, right? Mm hmm. Anyway, so why is vertebral subluxation such a thing that I focus on? Um, well, first of all, it's, it's detrimental to how your body expresses itself. It limits the amount of adaptation your body can do to its environment, to all the stresses we live around, to all the stresses we choose to put into our bodies, put onto our bodies, to put around our bodies. Even the chemicals we use to clean our, our environments, uh, to make them healthier, are toxic. It's just the way it is. The reason they kill bacteria is because they kill bacteria. And that's uh, harmful to us too because we're just made of a bunch of, of cells. And so it's those cleaning chemicals that make things healthier for us can also damage us. We're just constantly bombarded with things that try to kill us. Even the sunshine tries to kill us and the rain tries to kill us and the wind tries to kill us. Uh, all of those things. And it's amazing that we last into our 20s, let alone into our 50s. So it's, it's just a wonderful thing to uh, help people overcome. It's a wonderful thing to help people victory over these vertebral subluxations. But because we live in a world that's cursed, because we live in a around people that make stupid decisions all the time, and we live with somebody that you look in the mirror every morning and see when you look at yourself that makes decisions that aren't good for yourself. Those things are why I am in business. Those are things why I do what I do. I know that those vertebral subluxations limit the amount of enjoyment you can have with your friends and family. It limits the amount of things you can do that you want to do, like golf 
or water ski or snow ski or paraglide or whatever else. In fact, you know, they probably can prevent you from getting your pilot's license. If vertebral subexcalations let go long enough, it can affect uh, how your heart and lungs and, and uh, all your other organs function. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's been proven for hundreds of years. Um, that's why we exist, because somebody was having problems. And uh, the first uh, chiropractor, Dr. Dee Palmer, um, helped him with it. I mean, he, the, the problem was resolved in a chiropractic care. Um, that's what we do. I don't do that to resolve issues other than vertebral subluxation, but it happens. And it's amazing to see those miracles happen every day, every week, every month, every year, in hundreds of offices and thousands of offices uh, around the state and around the country. Uh, you need to be under chiropractic care. You need to be under regular chiropractic care. I am convinced that weekly is the best plan. It doesn't fit everybody's schedule, but it seems to be the most logical way to get chiropractic care. Um, and then once you determine how long you can hold yourself, your your uh, your clear status, um, then you can modify that. But to get to that clear status, it takes some work. You've worked a long time to get to where you are. It's not going to go away in one visit or uh, even a couple of visits. Sometimes it happens probably not going to happen. We're here to help you in beautiful Inman, South Carolina, and just at the bottom of the hill coming out of Asheville, North Carolina. We're at exit 10. We're about a mile, mile and a half straight east on uh, Route 292, um, Route exit 10 on Interstate 26 uh, in South Carolina. Uh, like I said, about a mile, mile and a half straight east on Route 292. In fact, if you go continue on 292, come to a stoplight, and uh, if you go forward, any further, you'll be in my parking lot. So come on in. If you're not near me, let me know how I can help you find a chiropractor. If you're a chiropractor watching this, my goodness, guys, tell the truth. I see a lot of things about, uh, you know, being ashamed of what vertebral subluxation is, about not talking about uh, philosophy to your clients, not talking about philosophy to your friends and family. I understand what some of those people are trying to say. But my goodness, that's what sets us apart. If it doesn't set us apart, it just makes us part of something else. And that's just not good. We're separate. We're distinct. We have a valuable place in society, a valuable place on the team for every family in your neighborhood. So don't be shy. Tell the story. Tell your story. And then tell the chiropractic story uh, alongside it. Well, that goes for everybody that's been in chiropractic here. Chiropractor or not. Just tell your story. That's what makes us better. Anyway, this is a big ramble, but now you know why there was no fabulous Friday and marvelous Monday this last weekend. Just a little bit busy, just a little bit tired. And we have out-of-state guests now, so that just eating up a little bit of my time, but it's well worth it. All right, guys. Love you lots. Talk to you later. Have a great week. Come on and see us. PureCowerNow.com, 864-715-2225 in the beautiful upstate of South Carolina, just on the south side of Lake Bowen in beautiful Inman. Bye-bye.